Welcome to Technicians Use DVI Suite 2. Increase your efficiency with DVI Suite. Thank you for joining us. Today's webinar is being recorded. In today's webinar, we're going to review how you can increase your efficiency as a technician with all the information you need in the palm of your hands with DVI Suite. Go ahead and grab your tablet or your phone that has DVI Suite installed and make sure you have your username and password as we get started with this webinar. This will let you follow along so you can see your assigned work. A Little bit about myself, my name is Jennifer Mahan. I'm the manager of implementation and training here at RO Writer. I've been in the automotive business for over 15 years and I've been implementing RO Writer for 10 of those years. If you have questions today, you have two options. Option one is to raise your hand. Option two is to type a question. Typing a question is preferred, and we will have question and answer time at the end of this webinar where we will answer those questions. As I mentioned earlier, DVI Suite, you can increase your efficiency with all the information you need on the vehicles and jobs that have been assigned to you in the palm of your hands. In this webinar, we're going to show you how to view and access assigned jobs, know the ticket status, capture images of the work needed, clock in and out of the job and for the day, access to complete required checklist, finding vehicle information, including history, and quick messaging your service writers. Make sure you have your tablet or phone that has DVI Suite installed in hand so you can follow along as we get started here. Let's go ahead and jump into the DVI Suite application. This is my tablet. On the screen there on the top left is my DVI suite. I'm going to click that icon and open my DVI suite. Once I'm here, I'm going to use my username and password for my technician. I'm going to be billed today. Once I'm logged in, I can see this is my, my home screen for my DVI suite. Look there, we just got a notice from our service writer that they'd like us to go ahead and start this repair order on Reed Chris's 2013 Toyota Corolla. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. So how do I find that Toyota Corolla? Click work in progress, so that big blue button on the left-hand side. Once I'm in here, I can see, if I scroll up and down, I can see the list of work that I've been assigned. In this case, I'm looking for Reed Chris. He's actually the first one on my list, and so that's the vehicle that I've been assigned. That blue line is the vehicle that's assigned, and the white lines underneath the blue lines is the work that I've actually been assigned for this particular vehicle. Looking at that first line, that courtesy check, there's some interesting icons there. The first icon on the left is a checklist icon. That means that in order to complete this courtesy check, we do want you to complete this checklist as well. I've gone out to the parking lot. I've gotten my vehicle for Reed Chris. I've got it pulled into the bay and I need to start this ticket. I'm going to click the clock icon and turn it green. What this does is it allows the service writer to see in priority that I'm actually working on this ticket. Now I want to go do the checklist. So I'm going to click the red checklist icon and I'm going to walk around the vehicle and do the things that it's asking me to do. The battery looks good. I'm going to click that green box. The air filter looks good. I'm going to scroll, keep going. The cabin air looks good. Fuel filter looks good. The brake fluid's okay, as is the power steering. You know what, that transmission is a closed transmission, so I'm going to hit the X and say not inspected. The coolant was good. The washer fluid was okay, but I did have to top it off. So I'm going to click in the comments and type in topped off. Moving down the list, I check the horn, I check the lights, that left front tire looks good, but you know what, I'm looking at the car and that right front tire just doesn't look good. So I'm going to click in the red X there. And I'm gonna say that it does need attention immediately because it has a huge gash in it. So much like earlier, I'm gonna put a comment in here that it has a huge gash, but even better, I wanna take a picture of it. I want the customer to actually see the gash in the tire. So I'm gonna click that gray camera icon. Once that opens, click that top left blue camera icon. There's my vehicle. I'm a little too far away from the tire. Let me get a little bit closer. Grab that picture, click OK. Once I've got that picture added, I can again, if I want to here, say gash in tire. But even more, I can actually click edit. 
and I could draw an arrow or make a circle of where that gash actually is. I also have some additional options at the top where I could drop arrows. Once I've made my adjustments, I'm gonna click Save. You'll see that my picture is now there with my edits, and I'm gonna click Save again. There's my picture, and I'm gonna click back on Images. I'm gonna finish going down that list, that left tire and that right rear tire look well. I know that I've completed this checklist because if I scroll up and down, there's no longer anything yellow. I'm gonna click the back button next to checklist and it'll bring me back to my main screen. So you can see that your courtesy check has changed from red to green. So we've completed that checklist. Our time clock is still green, but I've completed the work. No problem, click the check icon. Notice how it changes your clock icon to gray and the check to green. What that means is that you are now done with the work. Again, as mentioned earlier, the service writer can see that you have finished this courtesy check through DVI command, and they'll be able to go work with the customer from there. There's one more thing on here that they, we want to look at. In this case, I have a synthetic blend oil change that I'm supposed to put on the vehicle, but I need to know what fluids I need to put on the vehicle. I'm gonna get ready to start that ticket. I'm gonna start that job. I'm gonna click the time clock icon. If I click the blue vehicle, it takes me to more information. So not only can I see my courtesy check line that I needed to do, but now I see more details about that synthetic blend oil change they want me to do. I can see that it needs 4.4 quarts of 5W20 and status has S, which means it's in stock. Underneath that, it's a quantity of one with a part number for my oil filter. I can see that has a status of O. That means that oil filter has been put on order. I don't actually have it on my shelf. I've gone ahead and completed that oil change. I'm gonna click the back button and click the checkbox because I've completed that oil change and I'm done with this ticket. So now I can go back into my repair order, click change status and do inspection complete because I've completed my work. Again, this is a visual reminder for the service writers when they're looking in DVI command that the work is being completed. As I mentioned earlier, everything you need to know is in, the t is in the palm of your hands. So as you're looking for the vehicle, there's the picture of the vehicle, makes your life a little bit easier. When you're in the repair order itself, you can go over to the requests button and see what the customer came in for. You can click on the services, as we already talked about, to see exactly what work needs to be done and if there's any parts to go with that work. If you wanted to look at your checklist from here, you could do that from here. We're gonna scroll over the notes section. So if there's any special notes like don't roll the window down or something like that in the vehicle, you'll be able to see those in notes because we don't wanna roll the window down and it not go back up and then we're responsible for repairing that window. In addition, I can see the history. The history is going to include any work that's already been completed, as well as any declined items are there in red. We also have segregated out the declined items in case you needed to look at that to see if there's maybe something that you're recommending today that was previously declined. And then as well, we have recommended services. If we keep scrolling over some additional information, if your shop is using Carfax, there's the Carfax history information. So this will actually tell us if there's any safety recalls. It'll also tell us all the work that's recently been done on the vehicle through a Carfax certified location. Last but not least, we do also have access to QuickFin. So based on its model, it can give you some additional information about tire size and other information you might need as a technician to successfully work on this vehicle. Now that we've talked about the repair order, how to access your work, let's go back to that main screen and show you some more about that main screen. We're on that main screen again. Again, as I mentioned earlier, this is your home screen. That top left button gets you to your work in progress. If your shop uses estimates that, and you've been assigned an estimate, that estimate button will take you to your estimates. In my shop, my technicians clock in and out for the day, so I also have the time clock icon. Clicking that time clock icon, brings up the time clock. So now with DVI Suite, you no longer have to go find an R writer computer, move the guy out of the way that's standing in front of the computer so you can clock in. Go grab your tablet, clock in for the day, clock out for lunch, clock out, clock back in, and then clock out for the day. 
So again, everything you need is in the palm of your hands. Even more, I can actually message the service writer from the tablet. So remember that notification we got from the service writer that said, hey, go work on this ticket. If I click the bubble icon on the top right of the screen, there's my messenger. And so I can come in here and I say, need help in bay three, because that's my bay today. And I'm gonna hit send. And in a few minutes, the service writer should come out to bay three and help me with whatever I need. Now that we've viewed DVI suite, we've talked about that it's all in the palm of your hands. I've shown you how to view and access your assigned jobs, how to know the ticket status, how to capture images of work needed, showed you how to clock in and out of the job as well as for the day, how to access and complete those required checklists, how to find vehicle information, including service history, as well as how to message your service writers. If you wanna learn more about DVI Suite, we have a great playlist on our YouTube channel. It starts with a general everyday use overview that shows how our writer and DVI Suite may work in your environment, and then it does go into some more configuration items. All right, so do we have any questions out there? Looks like we do have a couple of them. Let's get to that first question. What happens if I mark a job completed that was really not done? So in DVI Suite, in the app, if we are in work in progress, and let's say we accidentally checked this oil change done, notice it won't let me uncheck it. However, if you go let a service writer know that you did accidentally mark this finished, they are able to make that change for you in DVI command so that you can continue to work on the job. The next question is, can I start a checklist if I forgot to click the clock icon? Absolutely. So we'll scroll down here and look at Ashley. Notice that that clock icon is not green. We'll click that courtesy check and it does let me edit that checklist without that clock being green. Any other questions out there? Thank you for your time today and do let us know if you have any questions. Again, thank you. Have a great day.